So we're on the green on number eight, and Dave, it's a 210 yard par three, which for the average player is gonna be daunting because of the valley you have to carry to get over here. For the pros, that's an easier shot. But still, this green is a little deceptive and can pose some real problems for the guys if they hit it long, correct? That's correct. Uh, the characteristic of this hole, the whole green pitches from front to back, which is basically the opposite of most greens we see. Uh, most of the players will probably be hitting four irons into this hole, uh, maybe some hybrids, it'll depend on the wind conditions. But uh, over this green is absolutely no bargain. Uh, we have thick grass, uh, you'll have a downhill uh, chip shot to a, to a green that runs away from you. Uh, the front of it has a false front, so you'll be able to land the ball short, it'll, it'll kick up on the green, it'll usually run to the back of the green. So where do you, if you're a pro now, where do you want to be putting the ball on this green? playing it, assuming the flag is where it is today, behind it or in front of it? Well, the easiest uh, place to chip from would definitely be a little short on this hole where the flag is currently. Um, if the, uh, the the player plays to the middle of the green is, as an average, uh, that's what they'll definitely take. They do not want to miss this tee shot to the right of the green. Uh, that's definitely a bogey on, on the way. And where's the flag going to be on Sunday? Where's the hardest spot for someone well, to stick it? Well, on the right side of the green over by the bunker would probably be the most difficult uh, to get to.